That is cool. John Lambert is an improv actor, a 39-year-old improvisational performer and film actor, also now pursuing a history and social studies degree at UTSA toward teaching in high school. He is also a widowed father of 10-year-old twins, twin boys, and the lessons of uh, improv, he says, have served him well in this uh, new capacity. He also curates something called the Short Shorts Film Fest that promotes local filmmakers and that has a charity focus in his late wife's name. Please give it up for John Lambert! I should have asked before, but the space bar moves us across. That's cool. I have a note from a friend John, I know you're from Chicago, but they like it when you say ghost spurs. <laughs> so improv acting is what I do. And call me pretentious, but I think that improv is life. And I think you might agree when we're done. I've got your back. That's what we tell each other to start every show. No, we're not geniuses with instant screenplays in our heads. Not all of us. But all life on stage comes from the eyes of our partners. And we need to memorize just one line. Yes, and. Every 90 minute show runs without a script, just a dark void when the lights go down and the backstage doors open. We're existential paratroopers jumping into pitch black together. We have no parachute. We say only one thing. I've got your back. This 20 year reunion show pick shows a sampling of cast members who have taken the plunge over the last couple decades and lived to tell the tale. We're doctors, lawyers, teachers, athletes, atheists, Christians, and yogis. We are the world. And for 90 minutes every weekend, by proxy, the world agrees on one thing. Yes, and. Two teams take the field in competitive improv where the scenes, the scoring, and ultimately the winning teams are driven by audience applause. We strike a balance between intense competition and even more intense cooperation. We've done this on local television for jam-packed, sold-out audiences. We've done the same for tiny audiences. And here's the thing. A small audience is just as important. Mutual surrender is the name of the game, regardless of our ticket sales. It means that when my intended idea collides with yours on stage, I surrender without exception. I kneel and hope that you see me as a parishioner at church for the scene. But you see a maidservant on his knees scrubbing floors. Guess what? I'm now a, score, a floor scrubber. And you hope I see an authoritarian boss as you stand with your hands on your hips. But I see a statue getting pooped on by birds overhead. <laughs> you are now a poop-catching statue. And so it goes. Repeat and rinse. Offer a gift. Surrender to your partner. Repeat and continuous free fall. It means that we let go of inhibition and we jump. Consequences be damned. On stage, we laugh more fully and live more honestly. It's open heart surgery, but never self-indulgent. It is a balance between bold choices and complete acceptance of the gifts that others offer to us, and then an offer of a gift in return. We're the human Rorschach test. The scene evolves as players simply respond to what they perceive but just as readily surrender to the perceptions of others. A back and forth, and when the dust clears, we have a scene. In short, we are the book of Genesis, we have life, or the primordial soup, if you prefer. The audience observes, but the audience is also a character. The stories we tell depend on the variables they give us, character, situation, and otherwise. Instinctively, people know they're in free fall with us. They hold their collective breath together with us, but breathe, Breathe we must, and our exhalations, our inhalations without which we perish, resound in unison. Yes, inhale, and inhale, 
exhale, yes, inhale, rinse, repeat. Our scenes, our lives on stage are a mutual child support attached to each other's hips. Just one example of the curveballs thrown our way is where audience members fill out random phrases on paper while the cast is outside. We come back and then we pick up these slips of paper mid-scene and justify these phrases randomly, somehow, in the context of the scene. We have to make it work. We're family friendly. We have no crutches of the four letter or the offensive variety. Our mission is like a good animated film. Fun packed for the kids, intelligent enough to keep mom and dad on board. And then parents and kids ride home happy. We're a worldwide family. And we are family. This shot is from the Comedy Sports Improv World Championships. Yes, there's actually a, a chapter in every major city, everywhere you go. And if a cast member comes in from Buffalo, New York, wanting to come perform with San Antonio, we say yes. And we say and, we know that it works both ways when we hit the road and we've done that, Milwaukee and everywhere. Strange things happen here. Cast members who swear they don't have a musical bone in their body suddenly find themselves doing impromptu opera scenes. Tragically unhip baby boomers suddenly turn into rappers. Beastie boy rap battles between soccer moms and lawyers ensue, and it gets ugly. <laughs> the void is what we have in common, in improv and in life. All of us in search of our story. The formula for good improv is the formula for good living. We learn how to say, yes and. And when we face life, I learned to say yes and. And I learned mutual surrender just in time, thanks to my comrades in arms. I learned to offer a gift and to surrender it just as quickly. We accept that yes, because every hello carries a goodbye, and it's an unwritten contract when you say I love you, to also say I agree to suffer for you because you are worth it. We're in this together. Snowflakes in mid-flight who only hold our shape for so long. One moment an immature self-centered man is now a single mom. And if we have one thing in common, if you've ever been to Six Flags, we have that roller coaster experience. And all you know is that everyone goes over that roller coaster at the top, and you will too. That doesn't make you want to hug your neighbor. I'm going to submit that you're not the hugging type. <laughs> Free fall. All we have is the void before and after the fall. And each other. Do we have your back? Yes. Thank you, John Lambert. Okay. Uh, I like the hat, by the way. And, and a quick question or two. Check out those spurs. Dude. Uh, first of all, for some people out here, how did you get into improv, and how easy is it to get into improv? It's easier than anyone wants to admit. Um, I was living in Los Angeles with my wife, and then I moved to San Antonio to pursue my dream as, a, as an actor. Um, what? <laughs> Say is, uh... I was, I, just as we moved away from Los Angeles, I suddenly got the bug, and I figured out it's a smaller tank here, and <laughs> so I get more gigs here than I ever did there, so it, it works out. It's very easy, actually. Comedy sports actually gives classes. And now you were at River Center, right? You did story years well, ago. Well, actually, the, the, they used to be, or is that I, and There's several groups. There's the Oxymorons. They're a wonderful group. There's right, the there's... Denials at the Overtime Theater, and then there's Comedy Sports. I've, I've done improv with uh, the Overtime and with the Comedy Sports. Okay, and, and lastly, you touched on it here, and just as a news guy, I'm a who, what, when, where, why. How, how long ago did this event in your life happen? And if, however you want to get into it or not, just sure. tell us a little bit about that. As, well, she, she uh, my wife, she passed from, well, she, she had a, an extended fight with the cancer from 2004, and she beat it twice, 
And unfortunately, it doesn't matter how many times you beat it, all it needs to do is beat you once. But she, if you look at the scoreboard, she, she licked it. Two to one. Um, so she finally succumbed in two, March 2012. So the boys are with me and they're experiencing various improvisations. My food is now edible. <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> and uh, and where can people see you right now and find out more stuff? Aside, I'm glad you asked. I um, you told me to. It says right here. Absolutely. <laughs> Improv. That's, Thank you. I have a companion here. She she has actually cards, and you can get two for the price of one. We do have a website, but I didn't memorize it. I'm making this up as I go along. It's news4sa.com. I yes. Think. Sir. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, John Lambert. I appreciate your time and answering all our questions.